Let's roll. Hi, this is Joe with Box Central. I uh, came to you all today to show you all how to do a diesel injector service on a 674. How I got it hooked up to uh, loop the pressure and return from the tank. I got a half inch bell fitting coming off of the filter housing towards the rear by the firewall. And then I got a 12 millimeter going to the return, which goes back to the tank. And then over here on the return from the CT pump, I have a 90 degree 12 millimeter uh, female fitting. And then I have a half inch female put up directly in line with the fuel filter. After I did that, I went ahead and poured the diesel purge into the new mock central uh, 64 inch ounce uh, canister. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pressurize it to about 15 PSI, start the engine. This usually takes about 25 to 30 minutes. Now, Joe, tell me about this uh, this new canister because it looks a lot different than the ones that we've been using. The old canister was only a 16 ounce canister. Uh, you could only run about 12 ounces of product through it. When you would pressurize the canister, it would drop the level all the way down to the very bottom. The vehicle would run maybe two or three minutes before the service was over. The reason why I came out with this uh, prototype tool is so that way we could run more product for a better service. And other injectors. I heard you speaking earlier, so you're also going to add a pressure release valve? Yeah, right here off of the regulator, I'm going to add a pressure release valve that's uh, coming soon. This is just a prototype tool at this point. Super. Uh, I'm just testing it out, and so far I've done about uh, four demos, five demos on it, and it works great. Technicians like it. Uh, there's been no complaints. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and start this truck now. All right. So, right, now this one you just start up and you just let it idle. There's no need to increase RPM or anything. After the service is finished, we'll reconnect all the lines for our ATT additive in the fuel tank, which is a C-Tane booster. And we'll go dry the truck for at least 10 to 15 minutes to blow out any uh, excess chemical that's in the fuel system. And then uh, we're able to ship it to the customer at that point. So some of our more commonly asked questions in the field the first one is the intervals. When should, like, when would we see value? When would a customer see value in their diesel truck by doing this service? Here at Mod Central, we recommend it starting at 15,000 miles, which lines up the, with the scheduled maintenance of the fuel filter. So hand in hand, this can protect your fuel system and help your truck stay on the road longer. So in, a, in a, our older product, like 2311, that service was often piggybacked with the uh, fuel filter replacement on a diesel. You recommend that we do this service instead of, correct? Yes, sir. Awesome. And I know I'm putting you on the spot here with this question, and it may vary from market to market, but what sort of flag time do you, do you feel this warrants? About an hour. Uh, some vehicles like Porsche, and so like that, and have diesel engines, I would say that they need a little bit more labor, maybe about an hour and a half. But on Ford Dodge Chevrolet, it takes about 30 minutes to hook up, 30 minutes to do the service. Uh, it's pretty quick, so now, about an hour labor. Can you grab that diesel purge for me? So this is our 32 ounce bottle of diesel purge, correct? Yes, sir. And the tank additive, would you feel that the 12 ounce bottle or the 32 ounce bottle would work better uh, coupled with this service? I believe the 12 ounce this line. Uh, the 32 uh, ounce is like you had like uh, auxiliary tank in the bed and you wanted to treat that fuel, you know, that's when I would use the 32 ounce. So with the 32 ounce bottle of diesel purge and the 12 ounce bottle of diesel tank additive, the customer would receive a 15,000 mile warranty. If they did this service subsequently every 15,000 miles afterwards, they could keep that warranty. If you begin this uh, process when Joe recommends it at 15,000 miles, the customer would get a $4,000 warranty on their engine uh, and be able to renew that warranty every 15,000 miles. So we're going to let it run. This takes uh, approximately 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes, so 2025, we're going to hit pause. I'll share with you guys how long that it took when we come back and finish this up. Again, this is Joe the Pro with Mock Central.